Okay, this is a review of a Ryder cordless angle grinder. Speed control, and this one is burned out. I'll tell you a story of it, and I don't make anything out of a uh, review. I don't get paid. I don't get enough views on my videos, get paid by YouTube, nothing. It's just that they made good on their warranty, which surprised the heck out of me. But here's the review. I had bought a cheap grinder because I needed to cut 5 eighths rebar and half inch bolts building my dock. Now, I don't like using a cordless tool on the water. I don't care how many ground faults you got. I don't 100% trust them. Now, I've lost too many expensive tools on the water. The boats come by here, sometimes throw up a six foot or better wake. I've had wakes come up over the seawall. And it's not a short seawall, it's, it's a high seawall. It's about hmm, 10 foot down. And I've had the, the waves flash right up over the top of it when some of these big yachts come by full speed ahead. Thousands of horsepower in the motor. Biggest wake was from a Coast Guard landing craft. I lost a pump and a DeWalt drill. But anyway, had a bang good angle grinder. Wouldn't cut it. I bought this and it worked good. Cut right through the 5.8 rebar and got the job done. Not my money's worth, I thought. And it was still working. Put it on the shelf. Still worked like new. Next job came along a couple months later. This bench that runs around my pagoda. I had painted it with some very expensive paint that was supposed to be very good and had to take it all off. It was flaking. There's a little bit of it like that. All over. $90 a gallon. Was supposed to be no primer needed. Well, had to take it off. Now, this is a good, good chance to try out these, these new discs. I never used this type of paint remover disc before. I used it, worked very well in this grinder. Went from that end there, all the way over here, to about this point here before the battery went dead. This is what, it worked pretty good. Time for lunch, put it on charge, said an hour and a half charge. An hour and a half later, it was charged said, okay, let me get back, finish it up. Only had another few feet to go. So I got from that point there, about three foot, and the thing died. Stopped working completely. So, okay, what do you expect? It's a cheap, cheap machine. Took it, put it away, was going to throw it out. Took out the old Makita and finished it up. Put on this time use, use some primer and let's see if it holds better. It's a tropical hardwood, the de, de, Denae wood. It's very similar to teak. And originally covered in varnish and everything flaked up and everything. And just, okay, let me just paint it be done with it. So I'm not done with it. Uh, we'll see how long this lasts. But anyway, this thing burned up and looked at it. And in there, plastic melted and cooked. Same here. And I couldn't even get it back into the into the slot when it was done. I said, okay. I thought that was the end of it. Got got the Makita out. Got the job done. Well, I figured I bought it from Amazon. Let's see what type of warranty it has. Looked it up. It had no real anything. I said, well, let me call anyway. Nothing on Amazon's site. Find the writer site. They had very, very supplies. They had a site. And it was hard to find, but I found contact. Contacted them. 
and spoke very good English and they're very sorry, uh, they'll take care of it. Okay. Now, I've heard that before from Chinese companies. And they, they usually just blow you off and you never hear from them again. Yeah, yeah, we take care of it, we take care. Yeah, and they don't. But this place, a week and a half later, that box showed up, and in the box was a brand new, new bag, new everything. And I was shocked. A very, very nice bag. The, the original one, very nice bag. Came with parts, accessories, charger. And not one of them uh, chargers that you got to plug in with a little uh, connector. It's, it's a full charger. Works very well. Charge an hour and a half. But anyway, that me brand new in the box. New charger, new battery, new tool. Come on. New tool. Everything brand new. And like I say, I was in shock. Oh. <clears throat> Hate them plastic bags. But you gotta have them for the ocean voyage. Otherwise it comes all rusty. But anyway, brand new. Everything fits these. The tool has really got a good feel to it. Everything fits. Got all the controls. Everything very nice, quick release on the guard, and it fits. I'll show you. I'll put it on. Turn it up a bit. And turn it on. Goes right through, just like the corded one does. Like I say, use it for hours on a charge. Very impressed, but what I'm most impressed with is they honored a warranty that they weren't even stating. They sent me a brand new tool. I expect this will, will last very well. Now I'm not going to lean on it again like I did with, with this uh, very coarse, you know, it slowed down a lot when you lean on it, but it took the paint right off. And eventually, maybe I'll make another video. I'm going to take this apart, see exactly what happened. I have a feeling it's because it had a loose connection on over there, which heated up and melted the plastic. I'll see if I fix it with some epoxy and stuff. But, like I say, I'm very shocked at how well they did with the warranty. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Maybe even hit the notification bell if you want. Maybe someday you know, YouTube will give me something. I don't think so. But I do have a few subscribers. Don't have anywhere near the millions of subscribers you need to make any money, but someday maybe. Who knows? But like and subscribe. Until the next video.